Hey guys, me here, and I am finally back in my room, so I thought that I would film some more Infinite Collection updates. Also, I didn't notice until right this second that I chipped this nail, so just ignore that. And I have Infinite H's two albums here with me. Um, these albums came out two years apart, I believe. This one came out in... 2013 and this one came out in 2015 both very early in the years so um they kind of fit together and i feel like it's going to be a little bit until they have their second album or their next their third album so i'm not going to wait for that i think that filming these two together and then maybe filming the next two together would be completely fine because these two go together they're very similar as you can see so yeah let's go ahead and get started with these the first album we'll talk about of course is fly high and this is infinite h's first mini album so here's the front of it and the back of it and like i said this came out in january of 2013 and you can see there's a little case in there and then there's a photo book here infinite had just started doing solos and um, subunits and stuff and it was a very exciting time so you can see that this is just a box and then in here we have two things we have a photo book and we have this little CD case so we'll look at this first and that's what the back of it looks like and then you already saw this spine earlier so you open this up and here's the CD it's in an orange case here and you can see that nothing back there but it does say infinite H up here fly high and here is a close-up of the CD and it just says Willem down there and Lowen because this was before SM's time so well not before SM's time but before SM's time with Willem so so that's all that's in this thing and then the photo book is very fun and I really like this photo book because there are two ways to look at it this is the painting lab as you can see here and then this is just infinite H so um, if we look at it this way you can just see there are fun photos of the boys um, wearing very infinite <laughs> very infinite H outfits and then here's the track list so there were five songs on this album um, some interesting featurings we have Bumpkey we have Zion T dynamic duo on here and baby soul so um very fun the title track for this was special girl which was an interesting song i won't lie <laughs> so here's some more photos of hoya and dongwu just kind of a very different set of outfits and um things that you see in this album here's dongwu's face here's the first song victorious way which is an intro but it's it's very nice and then Special Girl with Hoya. Some more photos, some smiling, and then like a cool shot. And then track three, Nigo Opsede, Without You, which actually got a music video as well. And some more Camel Hoya, and then this, this is one of my favorite photos in here, I think, for Fly High with Baby Soul before Lovelies was a thing. But I was very excited about Lovelies being, or Baby Soul being in this album at the time because she hadn't really been in too many things and I was like, yay, more Baby Soul. So that's the end of this side of the photo book. So I'm going to flip over here now and we're going to go through the painting lab because I think the painting lab is really fun to look at this way. So you can see they start off in this purple room and they both have white outfits on. And over here it says like scene one and then this is scene two and you can see they're kind of like looking around more. Um, and then they have a purple chair that they both, they didn't give them two chairs for whatever reason, just one chair to share. And then you can see that they start painting. So here's like them painting on each other, <laughs> which I think is really cute. Uh, and then they're painting the walls and the floor. And you can see it gets messier and messier and people are throwing paint at them. Um, and it just gets progressively more colorful and messy until they're just like completely covered in paint and 
somehow they miss their hair. They don't they don't touch the hair. I guess that's the thing you do with K-pop idols. But that was the end of the painting lab photo book and I just it's really fun to kind of flip through it really fast and just like see how messy it gets. So that's the photo book for this. This album came with a couple of fun things. Um this was when Willem I think this is about the time Willem started doing uh two photo cards in an album. They had this phase. They're kind of still going through it with lovelies, but um two photo cards in an album. So this is where they started this. These come with, let's see, there's so many photo cards that come in this and I decided, at, at one point I wanted to collect all of the photo cards from this album, but they're all very similar. So I can't get that to go back together right now. So I'm just gonna sit like that for a second. But the first thing you got were some Infinite H stickers, which I still have in perfect condition, haven't used them. Um, but you can see that you, there's two of them and you can, I believe, yeah, they're two separate ones. So if you wanted to just use the purple one or the green one, you could. And these are Hoi and Dongwoo's favorite colors. And then there are photo cards for Dongwoo and Hoya. There's uh, rare ones that have a golden H on them. And then there are normal ones that have a gray H on them. And these are the two cards that I got in my album, have never traded as far as I can remember. Um, and I got one of each silver cards. The gold cards are pretty hard to get. They're very rare and if you got those in your album you're pretty lucky. I believe there's five cards total for both of them. Um, so there's ten cards for if you're collecting everything but I just decided to have two cards because I don't really have a bias in this group. It's technically Hoya but um, what I wanted was to get one card from each of them so I'm very happy that that's what I ended up with in this album. I was very satisfied with that because <laughs> I love them both so much so I couldn't be like well I just want all of Hoya's or because it just wouldn't have felt right. That is everything that came in the first album. Fast forward two years later to 2015 and this beautiful thing came out. This was like the best Valentine's Day present ever. I can't even remember what month. Oh no it came out in January again. This, that one came out in January too, but this one also came out in January, but I got in, in February. Um, so as you can see, obviously this is after SM started, so SM Culture and Contents is down here. And of course Lowen and Woolen are still here as well, so here's the front of Fly Again. Oh, I just want to point out that they used different companies, they worked with different companies for this, different uh, hip-hop companies. As you can see, very similar packaging. Here's this side and this side. Willem is consistent with packaging always, <laughs> so this was no surprise. It's also, you can see this is a much more sparkly album because it's a lot harder for me to show you everything because everything is sparkly. And then, very similar structure. Except this time it's not the same photo, so that's pretty cool. So photo book, and we have this thing again. So you open this up. This came with something extra. I just don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you that because it's big. But give me a second. I'll zoom out. Um. So here is the CD, like this, and this is just a little case. That's the back of it, and I already showed you the spine of it earlier. So for fly again, you can see the CD is very gray. So that is what that looks like, and then a close-up of the CD, like that. And now let me show you this thing. Um, but this is what, that is my dog. Where are you going? So, this also, this mini poster came in it too. It's black and white, but still very, very pretty. That is what this thing is. It folds back to that. And I keep it in the album because I don't really like to hang up too many things that come in the albums. Obviously I had, had, because I took all my posters down, um, had the, um, Paradise poster that came in the album on my wall for a while, but I no longer have anything on my wall. And I just don't, if this had been colorful, I might have tried to put it on my wall, but I decided that I didn't want to mess with that. And then this is one photo book. It goes in one direction, as you can see. 
and the photos in this are so, so pretty. I definitely, definitely love this photo book a lot more. Look how pretty Hoya looks. That's the first track flag in. Oh, was there a track list that I just didn't? Nope. Nope. No track list. You have... I hope you can't hear those guys outside. They were in the backyard when I started filming, and now they're in the front yard. Um, yeah. Track two, which is Yippo Pretty, was the title track for this. And as you can see here, there's a lot more... Um, Maybe you can't really see, but as I'm showing you, there's a lot more member participation on this. There's a lot of Hoya and a lot of Dongwu all over this um, credits, and you know they definitely put a lot more into this album than in Fly High. And look at this pretty photo of Hoya. This has a lot of featurings in it as well. So, you know, you can just see that there's a lot more going on in all of the songs. Ori, Orianga. Wouldn't that not going anywhere? Orianga. I think so. I don't think I butchered that. I think that was pretty good. Sometimes I say Korean words when I'm filming and then I go back later and I'm like, no, that's not right. <laughs> um and this features Sujung. This song features Sujung of Lovelies. So it was nice how we had Sujung in this album and Baby Soul in the first album. And then this is my favorite song, Papa So Sorry. I'm busy, sorry. And this is just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. This has Champagne, whose birthday it actually is today, and um, Swings in it too. And then these are really fun, like behind the scenes kind of photos. So instead of the painting room, we kind of get like these fun ones, the behind the scenes ones. And I think these are like so pretty. And six track there. Dongwu just looks so good in every outfit except this one. <laughs> I mean, he's the only person that I know that could actually pull this kind of thing off, but this one's really cute down here. But like, actually though, like what is that outfit? And then Hoya, oh my god, looks amazing here. Oh my god. And this has Sanchez of Phantom. This is um going crazy, I think is the English one, or crazy. Maybe they just refer to it as crazy, as the English one. This is has Sanchez in it of Phantom, and I love Sanchez, so I was very excited about that. They were just, like I said, brand new is like one of my 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 absolute favorite um, kind of hip hop sort of company, and the fact that they worked with brand new just like totally blew me away. And I love Infinite, and I love brand new, so it was great. And then got some Infinite H over here, and yeah, that was it for the photo book. So the things that you get in this album. This didn't come with stickers, it came with the photo thing instead, um, but this came with photo cards as well. There are three for each member. There's a gold one and two gray ones, I believe. So I got a gold and a gray, and I got two Hoyas. And uh, part of me kind of wanted to get Dongwoos for a while, but I've kind of scratched that idea just because I don't collect photo cards as much as I used to. So I will stick with the two Hoyas because he technically is my bias in this group, but it would have been nice to get a Hoya and a Dongwoo again, but I'm not going to complain. So, because neither of my two major biases in Infinite are in this subunit, so I just, you know, wanted to have the album to have the album because I love Infinite H and this these two albums are very good. I would say that um, if you judge the rest of the albums based on the title tracks, then you're missing out on some very good music because the title tracks are very public pleasing and uh, um, very, and the rest of the album is just amazing. Like I listen to the rest of the album <laughs> a lot more than I listen to the two title tracks. So that was my 
unboxing review of both of Infinite H's albums. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them down below or any suggestions on ways that I can improve this segment, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!